Prepare yourself for a practice of meditation. Find a spot which is very clean and pure and that instills a value of meditation which brings more purity, more calmness to your mind, a sense of relaxation. Typically we recommend practicing meditation every day in the same spot, preferably in the same asana or the mat that you use because it helps to carry those subtle vibrations in whatever position that you can relax a little bit more keeping the spine erect eyes gently closed come to this practice of meditation with an open mind as we are continuing this journey of global meditation marathon by instilling some yogic values to empower the human consciousness and bring them more awakening more awareness and more opportunity to make a difference in this life visualize thousands and thousands of people practicing meditation on these values along with you and spreading this beautiful network of health happiness and harmony for one and all and making this world a beautiful place for everyone to thrive to everyone to experience life in a totally different way in a positive way an uplifting way Today we are going to meditate on a concept that belongs to again the niyama traditions of the yoga principles Niyamas are the practices that we are supposed to follow to bring a wonderful personality within us to make us stronger in our body mind and spirit to make us the best version of our own self so there are 10 of those and we have been practicing one every day in this series so today is about mati m a t i mati which literally means pure intellect or conscience which is just opposite of being impulsive many times we practice something or take a rash decision out of impulsiveness we don't look at all the pros and cons possible we don't think about if i take this decision how it is going to impact my life my family life my community life or the world at large and we ignore those values and take a short sighted view of taking a decision which is opposite of somebody who is more conscientious who is more aware of the pure intellect that is within so today we'll contemplate on the value of this mati of the pure intellect and how we can tap into this power to guide us in every stop and step of life so allow your whole body to relax by taking a couple of mindful breath very slow smooth long deep and conscious as you breathe in tummy is bulging out a little bit to the front and as you breathe out allow your tummy to sink back towards the spine As you breathe in, feel that cool oxygen touching your nostril. And as you breathe out, feel that warm carbon dioxide coming out of your nostrils. So take a couple of mindful breath, engaging breath like this to allow your whole body to relax completely. From the toes to the head, your whole body is relaxing. You can visualize that a beautiful golden light is coming from your toes to the head as you breathe in. 
empowering every cell, every tissue, every organ in your body. And as you breathe out, visualize a dark light collecting all the stress, worries, anxieties, pain and depression from every part of your body and throwing it down to the ground. So breathing in that beautiful golden light from the toes to the head. Breathing out that dark light collecting all the stress from the head to the toes and bringing back to the ground. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And as you engage into some more powerful breath like that, every cell in your body gets empowered with this relaxation energy, this positive, soothing, calming energy. The mind opens up new possibilities. This universe is conceptualized as composed of two realities in Sankhya Yoga schools. Purusha or the consciousness and Prakriti the matter. The Jiva or living being is considered as a state in which Purusha is bonded to Prakriti or the consciousness is mixed up with the matter in some form in various permutations and combinations of various elements, senses, feelings, activities and the mind. During this state of imbalance or ignorance, one or more constituents overwhelm the others, creating a form of bondage. The end of this bondage is called liberation or the moksha. So today we are contemplating on such a powerful, profound intellect, the mati, the power that helps us to discriminate what is right and what is wrong. Let that buddhi or the pure intellect be present in us which will empower us to fight the stress, anxiety, depression that we undergo in our life and in turn can bring more joy, happiness, love, and all the good things into our life. So let's meditate on this concept called Mati for some time. And remain silent for a few minutes. Just listen to the music. Or just listen to your breath. Or listen to your heartbeat. And just remain quiet. And slowly get into that ultra state of mind to capture and assimilate the divine energy coming out of the spiritual practice.
we all use this golden light present in the heart in the form of mati or pure intellect and conscience and as you take a couple of mindful breath this light will glow all around your body making a beautiful aura around you let's to step one and step to we think about our mother or a motherly personality that you can empower this light to her heart and soul by just the power of your imagination so let this light flow onto her engulfing her brightening up her with this beautiful golden light carrying this value of mati or pure intellect that is step 2 and step 3 we will allow that light from her to connect to all the mothers of the world the entire motherhood and lighten with this light mati intellect that is step 3 and step 4 we will allow that light to descend down to all their children so from your heart to the mother's heart and so from the mother to all the mothers from the mothers to all their children and that's how you build a complete network in four steps and now visualize the center universe is surrounded with this beautiful golden light and this pure intellect is influencing every mind as they think all their thoughts are empowered with this pure intellect pure conscience and again remain silent for some time to allow you to meditate deep into this concept until it builds a higher spiritual quotient for this planet I'll count one, two, and three again, and on the count of three, we'll come back to a fully awakened state. One, try to become fully aware of your whole body, relaxed, strong, powerful. Two, become aware of your breath, slow, smooth, long, deep, and conscious. And three, become aware of your mind. pure positive 
powerful, magnificent as I can. And thank you for this wonderful practice of meditation as a part of the Global Meditation Marathon, an act of being a little unselfish and spending 15 minutes with someone else and creating a world filled with wisdom, joy and happiness for everyone to thrive, for everyone to be successful in this life. You may slowly and gently open your eyes and have a beautiful time ahead. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.